In episode 7 of this series, we saw an AI technique called LipGAN that can generate lip movement animations on a face using just a speech audio file as input. This is great for automatically generating many talking animations in games, but if you think that is impressive, take a look at this next work. It's a play by Philip Ridley, and it's it's kind of it's this weird, interesting kind of piece, which is kind of uh... this AI takes automated animations to the next level. It is able to synthesize realistic hand and body movement animations in coordination with the speech audio used as input. Incredible, isn't it? So, if we combine this AI with LipGAN. It is possible that we will soon be able to create entire animations of our virtual game characters talking and interacting with each other without having to design any of it manually. This work is presented by researchers in Sweden and the paper is titled Style Controllable Speech Driven Gesture Synthesis Using Normalizing Flows. This technique can generate multiple unique and believable gestures for the same input speech thanks to its probabilistic generative modeling approach. It uses autoregressive model like an LSTM that is trained to learn motion as a time series distribution of poses. Here it uses previous poses as part of the input to predict the next pose in combination with some other inputs. First of these inputs include acoustic features from our input speech with a sliding window mechanism. Next input is an optional style parameter which we can add to this model to control the type of animations that it generates. These are fed into a flow model which computes a plausible pose for the current time step and this process is repeated for the rest of the time sequence according to the length of our input audio file. As I mentioned before, we can also control the style of output animation which makes this technique very practical to use in real life. Suppose we are using this model in game development, we can create different styles for different game characters and use that as an additional input to give our character a specific personality. Very cool indeed and very useful for animating different game characters. This work pushes the boundaries of automation in content generation while simultaneously requiring fewer and fewer artistic skills to generate this content. I cannot wait to see the future papers in this line of work.